Good morning, YouTube. I am going to show you my skincare routine. I'm going to go, go for a morning run. When I get back, we're going to do skincare, eyebrows. I need a refresh, so <laughs> we'll do it together. So I'm currently applying my brow dye. It looks really crazy right now. Um, I'll show you how I do it um, in a second, but I basically just apply it like a really intense pomade. It's like a cream. So I'll show you how I look when I'm done. So this is what I look like when it's developing, um, insane. But I'll show you what I mix together and uh, my little concoction. These products are well loved. I have the, it's Berry Well, Augen Blick. <laughs> it's a German brand. Um, I found them originally on Amazon. I cannot find them on Amazon anymore. But if you type in uh, the brand, um, there are a lot of online salons that still sell it. Um, this is the developer, um, and I use shade Light Brown. You can tell it is well loved. I probably should buy myself new ones, but it still develops, so <laughs> cross my finger. I'm not doing anything too crazy. But I really just apply it with a pomade eyebrow brush, and I just mix it up in whatever little piece of plastic I can find. That is the lid to my all-time favorite drugstore highlight, actually. Um, if you guys have ever heard of J-Cat, yes, she's also well-loved. But Crystal Sand, like, oh gosh, I touched it. Look at that color. It's so much fun. Just add that color shimmer anywhere. <laughs> it gorgeous. But yeah, sorry, distracted. My brow duo. Works amazing. I feel like it totally changed my face. <laughs> I cannot wait to shower. I, wor I worked out this morning, but I wanted to get this done before I jumped in. And then skincare! My favorite part. This is just maintenance. It really only takes seven minutes, so as you can see, it's already developing. It gets, gets really dark. It starts like that orange color, but sorry. Um, I've got my beauty light on, so it. Oh no, that's just the outdoors doing that to me. Ooh, lighting is my friend much more over here. Yay, my messy does. So, in 10 short minutes, it has developed, and this is my before. After, they are really, they really are natural looking, um, just dyes all the hairs. I think it kind of leaves a tint left on the skin, but that goes away after like a day or two, but... Even without makeup, my brows are just way better this way. I never even knew I had brows back in the day. If you um, look at really old photos of me, I had white, well, really blonde eyebrows that were invisible on my very fair skin. And I mean, yeah, I'm blonde, but my roots definitely match this tone much better. So very happy that I got that done. Now time to shower. <laughs> so I was about to shower and then I was like, you know, it's so nice out. Let's try tanning. Um, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes on each side and I'm like, <sighs> time to go in. It's time to go in. Got my marble bathing suit on so that's cute, but now it's time to shower for real. So I am fully showered and I just put some moisturizer on. Going to follow up with a few skincare uh, must-haves for me. Um, pretty much just some eye, something to go under my eyes. They always need extra moisture. So here's my skincare fridge inside. I will grab my serum, hydrating serum, and eye serum. Oh, looks like there's a little moisture in there. I need to clean that out. But I guess that's the summer heat for you. These two should do. Actually, I will go grab a paper towel for that now. And yes, I know a skincare fridge is a little bit high maintenance and unnecessary, but I just really like the feeling of everything going on cold and it makes some products last longer. These I love having cold and um, that's like a night cream I don't use very often, so I don't want it to go bad. So, little fridge it is. Plus, I've just always wanted one. I wonder if, because the fans are 
so close to my bed, if that's why there was moisture in the bottom. I'll have to get down to the bottom of that one. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some of this um, Bright Eyes eye cream under my eyes. And I actually put a little bit on my eyelids too, because I get really dry eyelids too. And then um, follow up with this hydrating serum. It's the hyaluronic serum. If I can open it. What did I do? Oh, there's a lid, I forgot. Okay, got a lot of that. Why is it coming out so slow? Okay, there we go. And then I just put this hydrating serum all over my face. Uh, this reminds me of the hyaluronic serum from The Ordinary. Uh, it dries pretty quickly. Good job. That gives my skin some more protection. Um, always, I will end with an SPF. Especially if I haven't put makeup on today, which I don't know if I'm going to put makeup on. I have an interview for a nannying position, um, so I might just put like a little concealer on and call it a day. But sunblock is never questionable. Hmm. Protect your skin, ladies and gentlemen. It's the only skin you'll ever get. Now, I hope that wasn't too boring, um, but if you guys have any questions, um, I just used um, this 111 Skin Hydrating um, Cryo Activated Hydrogel. There we go. It's a mouthful. I got it in a FabFitFun box. It's, um, I looked it up. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it. It's a really nice cream, but very expensive. Um, I was using this Evolve. Hydrating serum, also I believe from a Fat Bit Foam box. Um, very nice product though. And then a bright eye, it's like gold fatten MD. Um, hadn't heard of this brand before, also came in a Fat Bit Foam box. Um, I was getting Fat Bit Foam for like two years, I finally had to say okay and pause my subscription because I'm gonna get through all these products. <laughs> skin looks very happy. <laughs>